Why does our body have a fat storage mode? Well, fat storage mode was the way humans, for most of our millions of years on Earth, had a pantry or a freezer or canning or a growing season because on the planet Earth there are seasons and some seasons are likely to be a lot more abundant in plant and animals that we can use as part of our diet. So what our fat storage mode is built in to our physiology, it came with our large brain, which needs a constant supply of energy. So you need to think of fat storage mode as like the scuba tank for your brain. We breathe air, and if we stop breathing air, then our cells starve for lack of, lack of oxygen. But our cells also need fuel continuously, and we can't let our cells starve for lack of fuel either. But we don't walk around with the scuba tank, only if we go under the water would we need one. But on the planet Earth, because seasons aren't like air, the air is around all the time, but the food isn't around all the time, we have built into our physiology to store fat. Now, human beings are very, very fat in the animal world. You might, we might not look fat to the eye, but if you start counting all the fat cells that we have, we have about 10 times more fat cells than would be expected for a mammal of our size. So those are there because our brain is also much, much larger for our body weight than the animals would be expected for our size. So our brain is only about weighs about 2% of our body weight, but it uses 20 to 25% of the fuel, always burning it all the time, even when you're asleep. So we needed that built-in way of fat storage mode. So when the food became scarce, we had that reserve tank where fuel would always be available and our cells wouldn't starve because they have the fat pot to live off of. Of course, now we have a lot of food. So we have pantries, we have freezers. Food is available all the time, but that availability doesn't just make our physiology change overnight. We can make changes in our physiology overnight, but not that one that fast.